Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and welcome to episode 16 of Android Tips on CurseForward TV. So in the last few episodes, we've been taking a look at the best launchers that Android has to offer. So let's pick up where we left off, uh, launcher number 7, next launcher. The next launcher is pretty unique. It offers a lot of features that other launchers don't. So let's take a look at a few. So first off, there's a lot of eye candy associated with this. So right from the fact that just flip up and you can see your home screens for the home screen preview. Again, over here, you can either you know, view it this way or in, a, in the form of a carousel. And you, and you can easily select your home, uh, default home screen by just tapping the home over here. And if you want to remove a panel or a home screen, just tap the X on top. Again, you can rearrange by just tapping and holding, moving it around. So that's that. And going into the app draw, uh, you've got a lot of options and you've got this uh, fancy transition, the cubic form. And you've got the page indicator on top. So tap, it over, here, tap over here and you can uh, sort, sort the apps alphabetically, uh, you know, ascending or descending. You can hide a few apps that you don't want displayed on your app draw. You can add folders. You can search for apps and this is to jump into settings. We'll take a look at settings, uh, the settings in a, in a bit. So this takes you back to the home screen and this lets you move apps to the home screen. So uh, this is pretty good. So let's just take an empty home screen. So over here you can just select whatever apps you want. So let me select but just a few random apps. All right, once you've selected it, you just drag these to the home screen. And as a, uh, once you drag it, they're all one above the other stacked on top of each other, and that's how they are. So now if you've got three options, you can either tap this and create a folder, or uh, you can just, okay, let me show you this option first. So this just lets you, uh, you know, arrange them in the form of a grid. You can either make it a really tightly packed grid or space them even, I mean, give them a lot of space in between uh, and hit OK. All right. So the, OK, let's, let me show you the other option to select this. All right. So what this does is it lets you arrange these icons any way you want. So that's it. You get the icons arranged this way. For more customization, you can uh, individually customize each icon. So let's take uh, let's take an icon. Let's take the Gmail icon over here. Tap it and hold it. And hitting this button lets you to select other uh, other icons. So let's say we select a few. All right. So now again, just uh, tapping on it and swiping takes you back. Uh, gives you takes you back to the set of options going back into individual icon settings uh, this lets you change the icon so you've got the default icons to select from you can download more from the play store select uh, any of the icon and that's for replacing individual icons so, and again moving to a different screen is again pretty easy that's all you need to do this next next option uh, lets you to uh, kind of turn your icon around so you can place it any way you want all right so the next one is to get things back to normal reset it and then you also have an option of aligning via uh, align okay by default when you're aligning an icon there are, there are no grids that pop up you can just overlap icons or you can just place it wherever you want but if you want to arrange it in a grid, that can still be done. So just tap it over here. And if, uh, if you are aligned to the other two icons near, near you, they will get a box around them. So now if this, uh, this icon is in alignment with the, with the rest. Tapping this lets you rename the icon or delete it. And as far as the dock goes, we've got a scrollable dock. We can uh, add more icons to the dock if needed. By default, we've got two gestures activated. Just uh, swipe down and it'll bring down the notification bar and uh, swipe up and it'll bring you your settings. So again, swiping up from the app drawer will give you the home screen previews. Just swiping up from anywhere else opens up the settings. Uh, you can either add stuff, uh, folders, shortcuts, uh, next shortcuts, 
and so on so next shortcut gives you a free view of the next kind of icons uh, this lets you add widgets you can also download some free uh, widgets with next launcher this is the calendar widget uh, this is the app manager you can see the apps that are running uh, and you get a 3d view again lots of eye candy here so let's just quickly delete this so that I can get some more room on screen tapping and holding and deleting alright these are the quick toggles and uh, just swipe up and you can get another set of toggles and just go into settings I can, and you can uh, populate these so you can add vibrate over here lock screen again a lot of eye candy I love the way uh, you know uh, the animation to add these uh, extra toggles and so on it's it's pretty good and this is your music player so you can just tap and that's it and you can just uh, swipe up and down to skip tracks so uh, that's okay not very functional it doesn't give you a lot of details but still uh, it goes with the rest of the theme so it looks good so under personality you've got options for themes go locker and icon editors so themes, uh, you get quite a few themes that you can install or you can get more from the uh, Play Store. So whatever theme you've downloaded, uh, you can see that from the installed uh, tab here. So just tap on the theme, hit apply and wait for everything to change. So that is a new theme that I just downloaded. You can also get GoLocker. If you used GoLauncher, you'd be familiar with it. Uh, Go Locker just changes your lock screen, and uh, it's been around for uh, you know quite a few years now. So there are lots of options. It's pretty functional. And you can get it to work with uh, the next launcher as well. And then you've got the icon editor. So if you don't want to use your theme style for icons, you can just uh, choose different types of covers for uh, for the icons, and then the base as well. Mm. We've got this wooden kind of base here. Again, metallic. Let's go with the metallic. All right, here we go. So I can kind of change. I know these icons do look ugly, but you know you get the picture of what uh, Next Launcher lets you do. The preferences option, which gives you the Next Launcher settings. Again, anyone who's used to go, who's used Go Launcher, should be pretty. Uh, are familiar with these settings so you've got the visual settings uh, where you can select backgrounds like wallpaper app and backgrounds for the app draw you can blur the wallpaper if needed you've got your screen settings the orientation you can hide the status bar if needed show or hide uh, app icon labels infinite scroll where at the end of the last screen you come back to the first one and you've got speed for transition you've got a lot of options here again with the dock you can uh, set it to loop or uh, and again you can add multiple docs so that's with a maximum of three you can also hide the dock entirely if needed uh, app draw settings here the grid size uh, sc again infinite scroll is uh, here as well uh, you can add some vertical uh, direction effects and the transition so we saw the cube you can select uh, anything different so let's select fly over here and going back and the gesture settings so like I said gliding up brings up the menu uh, gliding down uh, pulls down the notification bar so you can change that from here as well and you can also get double finger gestures and you've got your regular backup and restore options so you can back once you've done playing around you can back up everything and then later on if you want you can uh, restore it and again under effect settings let's just change the home screen transition let's change it to uh, alright let's change it to a stack alright now going back out so that is the stack and in the app draw that's the fly uh, transition so with all this running you can see that the next launcher consumes about 98 MB of uh, RAM so uh, it is a little bit of a memory hog but again you can tone down a lot of these features and I was able to bring down the memory usage uh, below 60 MB so uh, if you want to fully utilize this launcher you'd need to have at least uh, you should be ready to use at least 100 MB of your RAM so that's next launcher for you guys. So the next launcher on the list is the Hacks launcher. So again, uh, this is by no means the best launcher on Android. Uh, it is the reason it finds itself on this list is it is a pretty different launcher. It it doesn't give you the standard stuff, no eye candy, uh, no fancy transitions, but not the same old uh, 
you know regular Android kind of stuff and it's aimed more towards mid-level devices or older hardware because it doesn't really consume a lot of RAM so again keep in mind guys this is a beta version right now which means there's not a lot of functionality so this is how it works you've got a start button over here tap it and you jump into this page so your background is a little dimmed out and you've got all apps search settings and a list of apps that you can set up so and these are your recent apps that's your apps that are currently open and running in the background if you have root act okay let me get to the root access part in a bit so you can quickly jump to whatever app that you want how do you add these apps over here well go into all apps select any app you want and now you can just drag it and drop it here and it appears on this list you want to remove it just swipe to the left and it's gone uh, another easier way to access your app drawer is just tap and hold this and you jump straight into your app drawer and you can also access your widgets so then what's this dock at the bottom for this lists your currently open apps that your that your apps running in the background so most of the times we are either switching between apps or just opening an app we just closed so at, the, at those times we can, it's easier to just select them from the dock at the bottom and you can also end them by just swapping them and uh, okay just going into settings and launch your settings so if you have root access uh, it uses a more aggressive method to kill the apps. So without root access, the apps might not get closed every time you, tap, you try to close it. I also like the easy options provided to set the default launcher right from the preferences menu. As far as live panels go, uh, you need to download it from uh, the Play Store, uh, right from more apps for the developer. You get uh, the weather and so on, a few uh, live panels that you can add uh, that will show up over here right below. So the plan is to get uh, more panels so that you know you can swipe it just like with Windows uh, phone devices. So again, since it's in beta, you don't have many available right now. Uh, under home screen options, uh, you have the uh, you can turn the search bar on or off, and under menu options, you can change the color of the menu. So let me make it more whitish and apply. So now going back, there you see it's got a white whitish background. So now going, I'm um, sorry, going into settings, launcher, and you can change it back. Okay. So as of now, like I said, it's a it's a beta version, so the draw, dock, and icons uh, options don't do anything, and you've got push notifications that you can turn on and off, and advanced is for root permissions. Uh, tapping settings also gives you a set of quick toggles here. So Wi-Fi, sound, rotation, airplane. So we can just access uh, the settings from there. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's a very simple launcher. It just does things a, a different way, and uh, it's still in beta. So if you want to check it out, check it out, and uh, hopefully the developer updates it and we get a more finished product. While I do understand that we are doing a best Android launchers episode here, I just thought that Hacks Launcher deserved a mention, and I just wanted to let you guys know about it. So that's Hacks Launcher for you. The next launcher on the list is V Launcher. So this is one of the most graphically intensive launchers that I've seen and it again gives you a lot of eye candy. So this is what, this is how it seems once you uh, download it and install it. Uh, you get a glass-like transition between home screens and uh, you get, uh, what do you say, customized I icons and again you see the uh, widget over here, uh, you can see the reflections well, again, it's built into uh, the Veer Launcher. So, opening up, that is the app draw. When you tap over an icon, you can see your tap being registered. Tapping and holding gives you uh, options to add applications, widgets, Veer applets, Veer shortcuts, and uh, folders, Veer applets. So, you've got the Veer metal clock, the normal clock, and a picture frame. So, that's the picture widget. So, uh, it's got some nice transitions, nothing, spe nothing special. Uh, just uh, you can add extra pictures, decent editor. So that's pretty much uh, that for the uh, picture widget. That's the normal clock, and that's the metal clock. Another thing to note here is with uh, the widget, the clock widget, you can just pull stuff down, and you get a app drawer kind of thing. So you can add apps and widgets over here. So say I want to add my uh, Facebook widget. I can do that over here and you can just remove them you can also add via uh, applets so 
Uh, you can actually do something crazy like adding a clock within the clock. So you get a second level of, uh, what do you say, a clock widget with a second level of apps uh, that you can stick inside it. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, the normal clock widget also offers the same functionality. Well, you can do some, uh, well, uh, just for fun, I went ahead and tried this. So uh, inside the clock widget, you add another clock widget. Pull that down, another clock widget. So you can just add as many layers as you want uh, if you want to and keep sticking apps inside. It's not really functional, but it's just fun to know that you can do it anyway. So let's quickly go into settings. So under settings, you can you have an option to hide the status bar. You can enable reflections, uh, home, home transition, transition styles. You've got a lot of your regular transitions that you find with uh, most launchers. Uh, the crystal is worth, is pretty good. All right, so that's let's select scroll in. And that's scroll in. That's windmill. Okay, uh, this is the premium version and you get a few extra premium features. So uh, with the transitions, you can include the wallpaper as well. Uh, you can exclude the dock if needed. Uh, enabling HD shaders gives you a lot more uh, details in the transitions. Uh, and enabling infinite scroll, uh, again, which means at the end of the last page, you get back to the first page. So as far as icons go, you, again, uh, you can select it to display the shadows, widget shadows. I can styles so outline with glow all right I, I can style color I can backgrounds the background colors uh, a lot of customizations here for the draw you can uh, select it to display the apps in a vertical uh, manner and again settings for the dock show I can effects in dock show I can background show I can labels again dock style round rectangular plane let's choose rectangular with behavioral that's the click effect when you uh, tap any icon animations and window style window style is for the app drawer that pops up so uh, let's let me show you that sort of going back so that's the glow and as you can see with the moment your wallpaper also moves now so uh, now tapping on app draw you can see a black color background which is a little bit tra translucent so now going into settings and premium features behavioral window style let's select it as a uh, white diagonal and of going back so there you see tap the home button and you get uh, previews of your home screens you can add as much as many as uh, nine different home screens and you can just select which is your primary home screen but by, by home screen by tapping this uh, the little home uh, icon there and you can just move home, sc home screens around uh, delete them by just uh, dra holding it and dragging it upwards Veer launcher consumes about 90 MB uh, at max so I've got a lot of things running on it right now and it consumes about 93 MB of RAM so it is a little bit RAM hungry so that's Veer launcher for you guys so the direct links to the Play Store for all the launchers listed in this video are available in the description so you can get it from there. So guys, we're running out of time here. So let's pick up with uh, launcher number 10 in the next episode of Android Tips. Again, you can get to the next episode by clicking the link that's annotated onto this video or getting the link from the description. If you haven't watched the previous two episodes, again, the links are annotated onto this video and it's also available from the description. So go ahead, check that out. And before you do that, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Because uh, keep in mind, every time you hit like or subscribe, it increases the odds of YouTube suggesting this video to others. So just help me out and I'll keep bringing you more great content. So that's it for now. If you guys have any video requests for me, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So what other launchers would you like to see featured in this list? So again, let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, it's Ash here from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.